Hello everyone, it's Faith from Firestar and Tarot again. I hope you are all well. Oh, who's next, I wonder? Ah, oh, the lovers! Gemini! It's your turn. Let's see what August will have in store for you. I know we're halfway through, don't remind me. I'm behind again. It's part of being me, I guess. I'm a busy girl. But the universe gives you messages when you're supposed to get them right. Gives you answers when you ask for them. All right. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, so that's okay. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And as usual, cross watchers are always welcome here at the table for fire sign tarot. Gemini, why are you here? Queen of Cups in reverse. You or someone you are dealing with is a little bit emotionally closed off. Just a little, possibly. What do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Justice in the reverse. Things may, buy, may not be fair. Might not exactly be equal in this connection, at least as far as your feelings go. Toward them. I guess. That's, that's what I'm gathering out of this. What do you think of them? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. They're not holding much back, are they? Nope. I don't want to call it an open book, but... Possibly a little free with the uh, information. Maybe. Maybe. What do you want from them? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Possibly they're overthinking things and you want them to stop it. Possibly. How do they feel about you? Two of Wands. Oh, well, that's roses. They're ready to let go of their past crap and move forward. That's pretty cool. They're ready to take the world by storm. Okay, what do they think of you? Correction. Back up just a touch. This may be how they feel about you, that you're ready to take the world by storm. You take it however resonates. What do they think of you? The Emperor in reverse. They may think you're a little bit out of control. Don't quite have your crap together? Possibly. Or you aren't... I'll throw some clarity on it. I'm just going to zip until I get clarifiers on them. What do they want from you? Nine of Wands. They want walls to come tumbling down. So if you've surrounded yourself, they want you to just kind of let go. Possibly be a little bit more free with information, maybe. Possibly. What's the challenge here? The Four of Wands, the stability. Stability is the challenge. What can be done? Two of Cups. Oh. Huh. Possibly acknowledging the connection. Or moving forward with it. Hmm. Somebody's emotionally closed off. Lack of stability. Somebody may or may not have their crap together. Somebody's overthinking. Somebody's surrounded by walls. My goodness, guys. Hmm. Leave that alone for a minute. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my Gemini friends, please? For the month of August.
These things are bent to crap. Let's see if I can get them to straighten out for me. And again, you ask, why do you shuffle and cut if you're just going to free fly them? That's just how I roll. Why is justice reversed here? Okay. Herman and the Empress. Oh, okay. That's definitely not equal. Not on the same page. One of you is still kind of uh, going through a process, maybe? Self-reflection, internalization, processing the path and what's going on. And the other one is just ready to take off with this. They're, they're ready for the growth. They're ready for the expansion. They're ready to make something of this. Y'all ain't on the same page as far as at least one of you is concerned. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Five of Swords. Six of Swords reversed. Ha! A lot of air there. Letting go, releasing. Picking up pieces. But not walking away from it. One more. One more. Magician reversed. Oh, this just took a turn, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Gemini. You might think the other party, you know, as much as they're releasing, as much as they're wanting to, they're not ready. It can't manifest because it's not, the other person isn't ready. Their thoughts are still very much with someone else. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? Page of Wands. You want him to stop thinking about the other person and move forward. And too many. The Eight of Cups was on top in the reverse. We'll see if it... Okay. Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. Perhaps you're getting restless about the situation because you want to move forward and but they're still wrapped up in something else. Ten of Wands. There's a burden that needs to be released. And it hasn't been and you want it to be. Oh, wow, Gemini. What are we doing? Why is it Two of Wands in the upright over here? Or how the other person feels about Gemini. Oh, two came out. Okay. 
Nine of Wands reverse, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Oh! They feel like you're ready to commit and you're losing patience. You're ready to move forward in there. Oh boy. Yeah, you're ready. They're not. That's probably the only thing you're on the same page about. The only thing you're on the same page about at this point is y'all ain't on the same page. Why is the emperor reversed here? I'll take four, why not? Queen of Pentacles reversed, Hanged Man reversed, Two of Wands reversed, Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> Somebody's out of control, doesn't have their crap together. They feel like you're out of control. You don't have your crap together. You're emotionally hung up on something. Possibly concentrating on nothing but work. There's almost an air of codependence. Why the codependent energy is coming in here? Huh. Someone may have self-worth issues, too, with the Emperor in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Alright, why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Six of Wands reversed. Too freaking many! Try that again. The Moon! Someone is very vulnerable and has been very wounded and, and came back from the battle with no less for the wear. It's an air of mystery. There's some there's things not being said. Ace of Swords, yeah, there's conversations not happening here. Somebody's walls are up and Gemini, they want your walls to come tumbling down. They want another why. Whoa. All right, why is the four of wands here for the obstacle or challenge in this connection? Seven of swords popped out. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. There's shaky foundations and lies and deception. Or somebody's making big plans that the other person isn't ready for. That's another good indicator of that. Hard to say who's who's here. And I got a lot of swords. I got a lot of everything. Four of swords, five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords, ace of swords. My gosh. First card out, first major arcana out was a Libra. Pardon me, you could be dealing with another air sign, possibly. Alright, one more on this four of wands, please. Thanks. Star card. Aquarius, there's another air sign. The obstacle is healing. Somebody could very well be making big plans the other person isn't ready for yet. And somebody is still going through a healing process. And that can lead to... <sighs> unsteady foundations. Justice in the upright. Balance. 
We all hit on the same page, of course, balance is going to be an obstacle. If the only thing you're on the same page about is that you're not on the same page, that's a problem. Just saying. That's a problem. All right, why is the Two of Cups here for what can be done? Three of Cups reversed. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Sun in the reverse. There it is. Remember what I said a few minutes ago about somebody still hooked on something else? Mm-hmm. I think these need to be disconnected from... Mm-hmm. Acknowledge the connection for what it is or what it was. Separate from it and move forward. And go forth with this current connection when you're ready. When you're ready. That doesn't mean go forth and do it now. There's still a process here. But y'all, at the very least, need to have a seat over drinks or something. Coffee, whatever. Order a pizza in. Stream some... I don't know, something. Have it playing in the background while you're sitting there chatting about what's going on. And the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess comes out. Weigh your options. Obviously, somebody has a, a laundry list of options here. And remember with the Seven of Cups, I mean, there's glorious things in some of these cups. And some of these cups just suck. Just saying. So, weigh your options. Be careful. And, as, and the High Priestess popped out. So, obviously, this has got to be something 5D. At the very least, a soulmate connection. Which, you know, those can come and go. Not always meant to last forever. But, uh, 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 before I even draw advice cards, I mean, seriously, y'all need to get on the same page because you're not there. And I'll, I'll beat that horse to death. I'll say it a thousand times and I don't care. Okay, your advice. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Oh. painful. Being an independent Sagittarius as I am, what's about to come out of my mouth is extremely painful, but there it is. Someone in this scenario may need to let go of their independence just a little bit. And not be so hell-bent and want to find their happiness. I, I'm not saying just lay down and be a codependent dog. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's okay to need somebody. And it's okay to admit that. The star in the three of pentacles before you can lay a foundation down for anything, y'all got to do the healing thing. And a huge part of healing is really connecting with source and connecting with each other. This is a card of connection. You see all the pretty colors shooting out of her fingers? That's where, that's where heaven meets the earth, man. That's where the rubber meets the road. It's that connection and that healing and, and allowing that process to occur because you will be walking on eggshells on your path for the rest of your days until you allow the healing process to occur. I don't like walking on eggshells. The King of Pentacles in the tower. Oh, wow. As long as you are hell-bent 
Okay. As long as one of you is hellbent on being the one in charge, yeah, you're always going to be in a house of glass. Relationships. Relationships. It's a unity and it's a cooperation. And it's equal responsibility, if you will. And it's equal give and take. And one should not be giving or taking more than the other. In a healthy relationship. So until someone is willing to give that up, the storm's always going to be surrounding you. King of Swords and the Six of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. This is hard. And sometimes when you're, you're dealing with someone you've been dealing with for a long time, someone you've known for a long time, and I don't know who this message is for, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway just because the cards came out. It's very hard to make a non-emotional decision when it's someone you've known for a long time. But there are times when you have to lead with your head. So, you can sort that out. Alright, Aquarius. Or, uh, Gemini. Sorry, I just read for Aquarius. Gemini, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Be blessed. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks for September. Catch you later.